How are we doing this Thursday morning? I hope everybody had a great fucking evening. I know I did. I did a little bit of a restorative yoga with the wife after working yesterday. And then today, uh, let's see, I've woken up. I've read about two or three studies, uh, two studies today in their entirety, one study I'm working on. And now I am having some coffee and I am going to uh, talk to you spectacular fucking individuals. And then we're going to talk uh, a little bit longer today. I'm going to make uh, a few videos today for No Morbidity. No Morbidity is for sale again, August 9th, 2022. That is a week. This coming up Tuesday, basically. Um, we're going to be running a three-bottle deal. To you, know, you save some money if you buy three bottles. I suggest you do it. Uh, if uh, We are... The, almost everybody that purchased it last time is purchasing it again, uh, from what we understand. It sold out in like eight hours last time. And I just got to be real, uh, even though we're getting a substantial amount more, I'm expecting it to last about 24 to 48 hours at maximum. For all I know, it could sell out in uh, the same time frame or less because, frankly, we're, doing, we're actually going to do a little advertisement for it this time. And those people that had success with it are, have told other people, and those other people are also going to purchase apparently uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. We've had people lose in uh, eight weeks and it, like we've had some people lose five to, you know, 12% of their body mass. I mean, we've had, we've had larger people lose like 35 to 40 pounds on this. Like it, it is dramatically outperforming uh, the, the best weight loss pharmaceuticals, uh, the drugs uh, where their, their biggest claim is, 20% in 72 weeks um, with no side effects and uh, just it's just patented ingredients. So I do suggest that you uh, that if you're going to purchase Tuesday purchase um, Mark and I uh, uh, Mark and I are avidly working on product two. We'll release the name before too long. Um, but uh Product two is going to be aimed at blood sugar regulation, insulin sensitivity, uh, glycemic response mitigation, those sorts of things. We're trying, we're, we're doing everything. Um, I don't know if you folks watched our live yesterday um, or last night. I thought it was a great talk. We're going to have more of those. You know, I, I get it a lot. And I'm, before I get involved, it, uh, before I, you know, put, you know get involved in, 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 the, in the video, I get a lot of messages like, and this is one of the reasons why I, I just, I thought I'd talk about it. You know, YouTube has changed for me to a great degree. Like all of the, uh, 2020 changed fucking everything. And don't get me wrong before 2020, some shit had changed a little bit because I went more from just roasting people to trying to help people lose weight and be healthy because I saw on the horizon, what was going to happen. The more we accepted fat, the more fat acceptance, you know, rose, the worse it is for society, right? So content had changed a little bit. Um, and then 2020 happened and a lot of shit changed. Basically, uh, I'm not interested in the drama. Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I, the, the world is drama filled enough. I want to help people get healthy and realize where we're at in fucking society. I want to help people, un, you know, understand that they can't just treat their bodies like shit it's bad for them. It's bad for society. It's bad for the planet. It's bad for our country. It is. It is just bad. Uh, it, it, it's it's unhealthy for you on many, many, many levels. The person uses more resources. It's privilege. Obesity is privilege. Like abject, ab, like beyond a doubt, privilege. Um, and uh, I'm just not interested in getting into the drama anymore. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not going to comment on something, especially, I mean, the thing is, I, I'm, I sit in a pretty good position where nobody says my motherfucking name. Either I'm not important enough to them, which I find crazy because a lot of these people talk about the same people uh, I fucking, I, you know, that I brought to light. Like, every, all, all these motherfuckers talk, make, make fun of V-Shreds, and that's because of me. Other shit like that. Like, but they're they're pretty smart. Most, most of them aren't stupid enough to say my name because... I am kind of a fucking, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much what you would refer to as the Roddy in the yard. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I don't fucking play when it comes to shit. And uh, I know my shit. Like uh, most fitness influencers, 
influencers. Uh, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I can go live and talk about my shit with fucking you know, medical experts and, and make them look stupid and have before. So uh, no, they don't. most people don't come at me because, first of all, I don't give a fuck about their lifting anymore. I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't give a fuck whose form is this, and I don't give a fuck who uh, said what about who. I, the, you know, I even tried to keep up with the whole Cali muscle fucking – Fucking dude, dude that claims he's 270, which is a fucking joke. I tried to keep up with all that shit. They're fucking insignificant, all of them, uh, to me. In, in the grand scheme of things, they're just fucking clowns. And um, I just don't get involved in that drama no more. Uh, I, I don't have time for it, to be frank. You know, uh, I'm not saying that I won't ever, but people ask me all the time why I don't. What A huge portion of it is like people like the, the people, the dude I'm going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about how fat men have no fucking excuse. Uh, just absolutely no excuse. I'm going to say hi to everybody in the chat first, and then we're going to list it down. But I, I, I just want to, want to make sure that people understand that. Anybody, everybody should strive to be healthier for themselves, for their family, for their loved ones, for society, for their friends. Um, but fat men really have no fucking excuse. Women... I'm not saying there's excuses, but there's reasons. There's never really an excuse. I, I have this thing with my clients. It's, there's excuses and there's reasons, right? Women do give birth. There, there's biological changes that happen with that. Women do have a monthly cycle of hormones that cause them to be hungrier and cause them to retain water. And also there's so much more. Society has, is a little bit more prevalent in um, having overt uh, aesthetic demands of women, which can mess up the fucking psyche, shit like that. Um Men, there's no fucking excuse. Men have testosterone. You know, men are just fucking gluttonous and lazy for the most part. And it is most men, you know. Um, it's really fucking sad. Uh, I'm not saying that every dude needs to have a six-pack. Fuck, I'm, you know, I, I only have a six-pack a couple months of the year. Um, and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Uh, there's just fucking no fucking reason to be a gluttonous fat slop of a man. It's fucking, I mean, men, it's just, men don't carry, even carry weight the same way women carry. Men almost always uh, uh, get uh, uh, visceral fat. That's why men live less, li live fewer years. So I am going to uh, say hi to everybody. One, two, three, eight, eight, seven, five, three. What the fuck's up? Uh, John, how are you? Shieldmate Fitness, what's going on? Chris in real life, how the fuck you doing? Uh, Sarah H. Hello. Uh, Tyne Koenig. Welcome. Amelia, how the fuck you been? Uh, Angela Merrick. Uh, Casey, what's up, motherfucker? Uh, Sherry, it's Julian. Uh, maybe put, uh, putting this on the G Gym TV. Oh, that's fucking, that's outstanding. Uh, Mallory's life. How the fuck you doing, Mallory? Awesome sauce in the background. She's sleeping on the treadmill. Uh, uh, Ibrahim, how are you? We're getting married next year. Congratulations. Uh, I love marriage. Best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, Sound voice, how are you? The live yesterday was very enlightening. The live last night was amazing. If you haven't watched it, please go back and watch it. You can watch it on Tiger Fitness. You can watch it on this channel. Um... We're going to have more conversations like that. Just like, I, just like I was saying, Mark and I got shit to do. You know, we got a world to save. I say, I've been saying, it's one of the things I've been saying a lot. It's almost a place you got to be so that they, they can't ignore you because then they're done. That. You know, like uh, I make sure that I am like, I walk the walk. Like, you can't just talk about it. You got to be about it. I walk the walk. And my thing is now it's just now, instead of it being about me, uh, and YouTube fitness, uh, Mark and I have decided it's just, it's time to have it be less about us, more about people, other people and help and help other people. So, you know, I get it all the time. I get this shit all the time. Like, well, your views are this. I could, you folks don't real, don't think that I could fucking re-engage YouTube fitness and fucking get, view, like if the goal was views, trust bitches, I could get it. You know what I mean? Like. I don't, that's not even what I'm about. Like, I'm hoping to fucking, 
I'm hoping to help save a fucking bunch of people's lives, help them get healthy, help them get to a healthy weight and shit like that. And then in fucking like another four years, fucking just retire. I want, I want to be done by the time I'm 55. You know, I'm 51 years old now. I just want to fucking just be kind of just make my money and fucking help people and get the fuck out. You know, like I don't give a fuck about this shit. I, 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 don't, I don't give a fuck. Like I couldn't give a fuck what Vince from V Shreds is doing. Fucking, you want a funny video about Tyrone? Watch a fucking Tyrone video. They're fucking hilarious. Like, you know, just imagine that you can just imagine what I would say, and, and that we're good, right? I mean, that's the fucking shit. I, I mean, I want to introduce people to other people to help. I, I, I want to broaden people's thought concept. I want to encourage people to teach themselves shit and learn. Like, the world of wealth and knowledge at your fucking fingertips. Like, I read full studies down to the data, you know, <laughs> on a daily basis. And most people can't even fucking figure out how to boil water. It's fucking pathetic. Uh, and, uh, Angela, how you doing? John Carlos? What's up, motherfucker? How you doing? New names. New names. Corey, Corey. Hey, what's up, uh, Big Spoon Bear? Uh, why Why being fat is bad? Because it's unhealthy for you. Dude, I mean, it, it, I, I swear not today, okay? Like, here's my thing, Sailor Doggo. Uh... Anybody that wants to troll, I got something for you after I'm done here, okay? But fucking do better at least. Jesus fucking Christ, it's fucking. Uh, life is hard as it is. Uh, let's help help each other reach out. Exactly, man. Fat acceptance has uh, uh, protectors that are bigger than their characters on social media. Uh, they also keep big pharma in business. That's the thing. I mean, I they are the largest consumers of fucking everything, like of everything, you know, it is not even fucking question. If it wasn't for fat people, think about how much less food, how much less pharma, uh, how much less clothing material, like how much less, you know, how much less fuel would be used. You know, they, uh, they're bad for the planet. They're bad for themselves. They're bad. They're, they're great for the profits of large corporations. I love it when I see a fat person be like, I'm anti-capitalist. You are a capitalist engine, you fuck. You stupidest. I asked the chat. Well, fucking go Google it, bitch. So, Janet, how are you? Um, <clears throat> Rahaj, so many people just don't want to face problems uh, that they just have to ignore, wonder why uh, they have so many health problems. Exactly. Fuzzy, how are you? Sherry, how are you? Um... Let's see. I think I said hi to everybody. Sarah, how are you doing? Ugly Jazz, what's on? Uh, chosen one in a kilt. Uh, uh, Jackie. LD. Fans, what's going on, motherfuckers? Lauren. Ann. Uh, hi from South Africa. That's fucking cool shit. I, that's one of the things I love. That's why I like to do lives at different times of the day, too. So, um. Oops. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, everyone. About to be entertained, informed, taking my children to school. Good for you. Good for you, Savar. Um, but uh, money just circulates. If people ate less, they would just spend the money on other things, creative hobbies. Yeah, but it would be healthier. And to be real, it would take money. It would take money out of pharma's pocket. Like pharma, the pharmaceutical industry. Think. I want you to think about this. The best drugs that they can come up with that do the things that the natural compounds that are patented in no morbidity, they, they, I mean, it's, you have to inject something with a high side effect rate, side effect ratio, which makes them put them on, put you on other shit. Like that's the thing. They, they then put you on other stuff. I mean, it's just this fucking it's, it's, it's a fucking pyramid scheme almost, you know. Finally get to catch one of these lives. So far, I've lost 30 pounds. Uh, and you, Michelle McDaniels, and Cynical Dude are the ones that are motivating me to keep the diet. That's awesome. That's awesome. I still would like to have Cynical Dude on. He just won't fucking respond to me, motherfucker. No, I'm just joking. So he's all good. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about how men have no excuse. Men have no fucking excuse to be fat. Like...
I have no idea why my fucking mic just cut out. Stupid fucking shit. Um, really fucking ridiculous, you know? Um, no more bitty works great for me. Uh, Ozempic was awful and had side effects. Man, I have, uh, I have a client that was on Ozempic that put them, it put them in the hospital. Um, I, there's, I mean, literally put them in the hospital. It's fucking crazy. You know, like the shit that they put these people on. It's, it, no more bitty, like I, besides not like I swear besides and people have said this to me besides not being hung, hungry audio is God get people calm down uh, I don't not know what happened I don't know why but I saw the little thing and I, I put it on um, um, let's see but uh, I've had people reach out to me and be like I don't even know I can't even tell them on it what's, what's it supposed to do and then all of a sudden like three days later they message back like oh I'm just not fucking hungry at all and, and the best part, the, what, the thing I love the most is it helps people adjust their portion sizes because the food that used to, you used to need to eat to feel full now feels like too much. And you just fucking naturally make that association. Like it's naturally, it's, it's like showing you like, uh, to eat less, like each time it's like, it's building that, that, uh, that mentality. Like you see food and like now it's like, oh, I'm over full based off the food that I used to eat in portion. So you mentally start uh, pulling shit away, you know, uh, Alan, your advice on not eating sugar and sweets in the morning was, was a life changing for me. Uh, eating eggs and veggies, no more sugar cravings during the day. Tina, uh, time. I think it's time time. That's fucking awesome. Um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, good day from Australia evening here. Uh, you might've made me stay active and do more sports. That's awesome. Uh, why not teach healthy nutrition and, Traditional cuisine, like French or Japanese do, it costs less less to prevent, and why not care for your own people? Because there's not money in it. Uh, there's there's not money in it. There's not money in it. It's fucking crazy. Amberlynn Reed is on uh, Olympic. You probably uh, Elizabeth. You probably met Ozempic. She's not going to make it on it. A huge portion of, the, uh, of these people. It's. Uh, you still can't just binge like you still like to, to like for a 500 pound woman to fucking like accept just in their mind where they say that they're just going to still still binge and shit like that on camera and monetize it. That's that, that means therapy that doesn't need that doesn't like no chemical is going to fucking change that shit, you know. Don't get me wrong. I wish Amberlynn the best. Um, I tried to help her. I, I, get, I, 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 I wish her the best. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, the side effects, and I don't sure you meant side effects, Jessica. The side effects uh, they list on the Zempic commercials are terrifying. They truly are. It's fucking crazy. Uh, I don't know why people uh, would rather medicate themselves and just eat, uh, eat less. For some people, I got I to gotta say, speaking as a binge eater, it is hard. Uh, it is much harder than that. That's why... We, uh, Crystal developed the hunger management method where it's kind of carnivore, then keto, then regularized, then, then just whole food. And then having something sweet in every given day, uh, to make sure you don't feel too, um, uh, uh, too, uh, uh, too restricted. Those are things. It's a matter of changing food behaviors and habits. Hydration is a hugely important thing. This is my second one today. I have one, I have one of these, this is 33 ounces. I Put one of these down the very first thing every single day. And then I have another one while I'm talking to you good folks or doing my fucking normal computer work in the morning along with my coffee. I'm having about 24 to 30 ounces of coffee today because I'm not having uh, an ember today. Uh, if I had other caffeine, like if I took uh, other caffeine, I would I would not have coffee. Um, just, <clears throat> anyway, uh, about to head to work. Love listening to you on the way. That's Thank you very much, Ashley. I fucking appreciate that shit. I started using chopsticks to eat slower. It's worked. I, that's one of the things I do also fairly often uh, because I will just shovel food into my mouth. Uh, lots of psychedelics have shown promising results when uh, microdosing for mental health, uh, but we use SSRIs, which don't work well, uh, well in our addictive. SSRI, there's new research. We talked about it last night on the live. There's new research that show that serotonin is not, has nothing to do with depression. So uh, SSRIs have fucking have been prescribed for depression for fucking two millions, probably hundreds of millions of people um, for decades now for no fucking reason. It's fraudulent almost, you know, fucking crazy. What's up, Crispy? 
can you take no morbidity on thyroid medication? You should, just as everybody should. If you are on medications, talk to your doctor before you take anything. I do not know why people do this all the time. I'm not a doctor, okay? And I'm not going to give medical advice. There are no side effects listed from any ingredient in no morbidity. None. If you are on thyroid medication, if you are on heart medication, if you are on some sort of medication, before you even take a fucking multivitamin, you should talk to your doctor, period. Uh, this, this, is not, this is not brain surgery. Like, you are already on chemicals before you even take a natural. You, there, are, there are foods you probably should not eat on your thyroid medication. And if you do not know these things, you should talk to your doctor because they have not given you, given you informed consent about your medications. But please, 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 please talk to your doctor before you start any supplement if you are already on medications. That's what I'm going to say. Chris Marine Life, Amberlynn Reed. Uh, Amberlynn, I, I added the read. So, uh, just started Ozempic. Uh, thinks she's not wanting to admit she's uh, diabetic. Uh, she just has had labs done, then suddenly on that. Fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody said if Amberlynn Reed isn't diabetic, it's a medical miracle. I'm going to agree with that. I mean, she's got, she, I bet you there's so much fucked up shit happening with her. Um, uh, it's taken me years to train myself to eat less uh, binge eating. Sophie, good fucking job. It's not easy. A fellow binge eater with you. It's not easy. Trust me. I know. Uh, thank you very much. Bush the Great and Terrible Hermit. <laughs> Bush the Great and Terrible Hermit. I love your fucking name. Hey, man, I see a lot, of your, uh, a lot of videos out here saying that food addiction is bad and why, but I'm having a really hard time finding resources to help recover. Do you have any information available? We help... People with food addiction, we are food addiction counselors. You can get our coaching, um, or you can just uh, get a consultation from us. We do have a book also called Fuck Being Fat, and I am going to put it in here. Where there's also, again, uh, April 9th, no morbidity. So um, for actual food addiction, it depends on what you're addicted to, depends on how you eat, depends on how you were raised. There's so many things. I can't just put it out here. Uh, because I don't know exactly who you are, but you can get a consultation. I would fucking gladly, uh, uh, gladly talk to you. Uh, I have been binging your videos on V shreds and, and Thin X for the past two hours and have not stopped laughing. Thank you. I enjoy, like, I'm not saying I'm never going to do comedy again. I'm just, I, I highly doubt it will do it on here. Like, I just don't find it fucking, I don't find it fruitful or entertaining. Normally it's just fucking, pun they punish the channel because it's also, because these big bad fucking fitness people are, are bullying fucking losers. Uh, let's see. I found eating meals while having conversations with people helps. It's a very fucking useful tool. One of the things we have people do is we have people uh, eat 75% of their meal, stop, drink about 20 ounces of fluid, uh, wait 20 minutes, talk to people, everything like that, and then see if they're still hungry, stuff like that. Anyway, I can talk for a while. We've been talking for 23 minutes, and I haven't even talked about this fat fuck. Um, so here's, here we go. We are now going to talk about uh, Jake, the bodily positive creator. Um, Jake's fucking delusional, fucking low expectation in life having motherfucker. Um, I, and if that upsets you, I don't know what to fucking tell you because that fucking that's the fucking truth. Um, Jake is just fucking low expectation having. Um, let's see here. So, and I, by the way, I always try to preface this. I mean, no bad or ill will towards Jake and his fucking complete ass delusions. Um, I do really think that people should uh, not give Jake a hard fucking time, not give any fat people a hard fucking time. Uh, life is hard enough. They are indeed fat. Um, but this is just fucking kind of sadness. Uh, this is what happens when we just fucking accept this shit. Uh, this is not healthy. Like th this dude is not healthy. This dude obviously has mental fucking problems. Uh, this, this dude obviously needs, uh, needs some help. He is into dance and anime and D and D and Bopo, uh, body positivity. Um, he is 30 engaged pan LGBTQ XMO be true to you. Um, uh, If, if you were body positive, Jake, I'm just going to, because you're probably going to watch this. If you were body positive, you wouldn't treat your body like shit. 
I, I don't, not one, but not one of these people that claim body positivity that then fucking gluttons themselves treats, it, it should be considered the body positivity. Uh, it is not, you are not treating your body in a positive way. Um, so how are you calling it body positivity? Just because you want to fucking live in this delusional world uh, where you're somehow okay when you're not. This dude's like fucking 500 fucking pounds. Um, it's kind of sadness. We're just scroll, going to scroll back here a little bit. Um, now, I can't have... Uh, I can't have... Uh, some of the sound on because again, uh, it's I don't want to get copyright, copywritten, stricken, or whatever the fuck it's called. No, no. So he really doesn't talk. Um, he shouldn't be even considered an optimist, dude. I mean. Number of people who will get who will fall in uh, fall in love with you in 2022. I mean, dude, what are, are we gonna fucking are we we really gonna do keep doing this? Like, I I got to be real. Like, this dude is 30 years old, 500 pounds. He's three fourths of the way through his fucking life. I mean. I hadn't even met, I had, had not even met my wife and son by, by his, well, I just met my wife and son. I just met my wife. I hadn't met my son yet because I didn't meet my son until we actually started dating. And I met her like years before we started dating, you know, a couple of years before we started dating and we were, we became good friends and we started dating anyway, but what the fuck, man? Like <laughs> this, this is fucking sadness. So, I mean, it really is. This is fucking sadness. This, this is what sadness looks like. The delusion to think that like this is like, it is not like people are going to fall in love with you. I'm sure that the, I'm sure you're capable, people are capable of loving you. You just don't love yourself. You should be the person that falls in love with you in 2022. So you don't, you stop fucking abusing yourself. Fucking, what is this? Um, I can't fucking necessarily play the music because of whatever, but let's see. I mean, look, dude. Standing like this for a morbidly obese person, by the way, very fucking dangerous. Being in flip-flops, even fucking more dangerous for a morbidly obese person of this size. Uh, standing like that in flip-flops, even fucking worse. Um, this is, there's no excuse. None. Who was I in a past life? I can't help but this vibe. Like, it's not even a physical appearance thing. This is just fucking sloppy as fuck. You know, we talk about a, women. Women tend to make up. The vast majority of fat acceptance. I am seeing this trend of more and more and more dudes being completely fucking pathetic. We had some fucking dude on here yesterday, and he's a, he's a strongman competitor, and he's 290, and it's all muscle. What the fuck delusion you fucking living in? You know? I mean, I'm, he could have been trolling for all I know, but I met plenty of dudes like that. Just as a newsflash, when I was too fucking 60 or 270, I thought for sure I'd lose 40 pounds and I'd have abs. Fucking for sure. I'm like a hundred, between 180 and 190, 190 pounds right now, and I kind of I kind of have abs. They're not like the fucking 3D abs, but I kind of have abs. You know? It's fucking – this this is fucking ridiculous. I mean – Imagine, I mean, I hope they bought extra seats and I know that that pisses people off, but I know they bought extra seats. Here we are both drinking uh, because your bodies aren't fucked up enough. And don't get me wrong. I got nothing against people in, that ingest alcohol or anything like that at all. You do you in moderation. I just not like I don't occasionally have, have a whiskey or something like that. 
because I just, the redneck in me. But, and I don't have an issue with people at all occasionally doing something just for pleasure. But, I mean, if all you do is abuse your body, it's fucking pretty fucking sad. Uh, I used to eat that way and look uh, looked similar to how a drug addict eats uh, addict does drugs. <clears throat> Food was the one thing I felt I was still in control of my life. I, I really controlled me exactly. What the fuck is his content about? I think his content is about being that he's awesome. Just being the fat ass fucking lazy piece of shit, fucking low expectation having motherfucker he is. Um, and uh, gay or pan or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't I have no problem with the fuck. I have no problem with the fucking other one. I have no love who you want to love. If they love you back and it's consensual, I don't give a fuck. Um, but this fucking sloppy fat fuck is what I mean. This is a bur- this dude. These people, these two are burdens on society. Burdens. Openly, not trying to fucking fix shit. If you are morbidly obese and you are trying to fix yourself, I know it's hard. I fucking absolutely know it's hard. My hat's off to you and we will help in whatever way possible. That's one of the reasons why we developed No Morbidity. Again, August 9th, coming back out for sale. Get it while it's hot because it's probably going to only last about 24 to 48 hours. Um, but what the fuck? I mean, this the just rolling and re- rolling around and reveling in your fucking fatness. You are pathetic. Anybody that does it is fucking pathetic. It's sad. Men like this is uh, is why society uh, will be weak. Society is weak already. It's just it is. But I agree with you. Uh, bobbing your head in a chair is self acceptance. Okay. Two ninety all muscle, no bone. Exactly. Um, where I live, it's considered manly and strong to be able to eat as much as possible. It's like a flex. That's fucking sad. That's fucking sad. It really is. Um, could easily be a hospital pick. Absolutely. It could, uh, fatness has always been associated with privilege. If you were fat within your kingdom in the Renaissance, you had money and abundance of food that has not changed much. It absolutely, you th- no, this one's got music original. Oh wait, no, maybe not. Uh, it's just a picture. That's why. Thank you for the love. What, what, the fake happiness is, is what gets me. The fake happiness is what's just what gets me, you know? Just fucking sadness. Still more music. Refrain from joking. I'm just, I'm really trying hard. See, he looks like, I mean, I, I would almost think he lost fucking weight there, but it's just the shirt that is fucking tent size. Hawaii trip recap. Uh, we're just going to play. let this one play. God, they're big. Just big. It's, it's, oh, dude. That, they, they both need to fucking get serious about life. Like real fucking serious. Like, fucking, oh. And it's not even a fucking matter of, like, attraction, physical appeal, or anything like that. <clears throat> they just both need to really get serious about life. Life life, life is about to be gone from these two people. I mean, here's the thing. They've already damaged themselves tremendously. I mean, they, they're both, like, anybody who says, like, you can't tell, um, that, like, you can't tell somebody's health by looking at them. You know, I mean, watch these people try to walk. Fucking sadness. I mean, she's just at maximum density. I mean, it's just, if you, if, if dude loved her, he'd be begging her to get healthy, begging her, begging her to get healthy. I mean, she's just, I mean, it's, it's so bad. I mean, this, this. Is not, uh, this is this woman does not love herself. The dude she is with, if, if he's not encouraging her uh, to get healthy, he does not love her. I mean, it's just it's reality. I mean, this is reality. Fucking sadness. When I'm with you, anything seems possible. 
How about losing weight? Does that seem possible? How about you guys not destroying buffets? Does that seem possible? Because that would be fucking good. I mean, th- th- to me, if, if anything is possible, how about trying to live more than another 10 fucking years? Because you're both fucked. Th- th- this is the problem. People grow up fat now. People enter adulthood fat as fuck. Fat, you know, as we're going to call it. People enter adulthood fat as fuck, and then they get fatter as fucker, and it's just it's just unfucking healthy. It is. I mean, th- this is what happens. Look, this is this is a thousand pounds of human. This is likely, and this is not this. This is six bodies worth of humans. Like a couple. Uh, uh, Actual full-on adult couple should probably weigh about 300 fucking pounds. <laughs> uh, this is three adult couples worth of people. Because they're at least 900 pounds together. At least. At fucking least. She's 400 pounds plus. He's 500. Always set up before live. I'd love to fucking. I'd love to fucking have an interview with this motherfucker, a live interview with him. I'd love to, absolutely fucking love to. Uh, this is no shit. Look at the fucking caption. Hair is thinning, so I might as well start collecting hats. Yeah, being bald is your is is, is your biggest worry, bro. Like you're you're self conscious about baldness. Are you fucking kidding me? Like the thing you can't do anything about. You're self-conscious about, but you gluttoning yourself to look like a planet is fucking, is is not a problem. What the fuck? Like, fucking men have no fucking excuse. Men have no fucking excuse. Um... Fourth of July is canceled, spread the word. It's really hard to celebrate freedom in a country that obviously only cares about the rights of a certain few. Tonto, we are Fourth of July. Oh my god. <sighs> Oof. You want the truth? If Republicans are not stopped and they get everything that they're after, here's what you can expect. With- here's the thing, and I think all of you guys know this. My thing is the federal government needs stopped. It's not a it, it so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um <clears throat> The federal government needs stopped. They have too much power. It was never intended to be that way. People, if you if you're if if you're still on the I'm a D or I'm an R, and you're letting people divide you between all this shit, like don't get me wrong, uh, I, per, I I think that people have the right to do whatever fuck they want to do as long as it doesn't fucking affect me. The problem, the, one of the reasons why I talk about fatness all the time is that actually fucking affects me, um, especially after fucking 2020 fucking crazy okay so i've been very hesitant to talk about something because i didn't want to pile on the sads but there is legit cause for concern when it comes to lgbtq rights don't be afraid to make waves okay and what that young lady was saying i think just everybody for the for the record everybody knows i think that fucking uh when they're talking about lgbt rights I, I really believe that they're talking about uh, gay marriage. I don't understand why it's even a fucking issue. Marry who you fucking want to marry. Marry who you love. I don't even. I don't even fuck if you. If it's consensual and there wants to be fucking three people want to get married, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I, to me, again, doesn't affect me. Yeah, you know, like literally, does not affect me. It, I'm a big you do you, I'll do me person. Uh, let's let's try to be as healthy as possible because the health of the popu- the generalized health of the population is population level health and not to mention that it's just having good empathy. Um, but, uh, uh, I think that it's just proper that, you know, if you're morbidly obese, you stop using up resources in a dis- uh, disproportionate amount from everything from food and pharma, uh, to hospital care and things like that. That's just me. When, it, who you want to fucking marry or who you want to have sex with, I don't fucking care. I never, I've never cared. I just did my Joe Biden thing. I don't care. 
Um, three people get married. Why not? Fucking, I don't give a fuck. That does not does not affect me. <laughs> like literally, does not affect me. Uh, uh, does not affect me at all, whatsoever. You know. I can't imagine life without this woman. You better start. Uh, the the chances of the two of you living the same amount you look uh, you look to be probably a little bit older than her too. You're fucking this this dude's very short on years, super 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 short on years, um, and she's not she doesn't got long, uh, 10, 15 years she's dead. And the thing is. Obviously, they're both in very serious physical pain. You can tell by the way they fucking walk and stand and shit like that. They're both in pain already. Um, that's just going to get worse. Way fucking worse. Way the fuck worse. Um, uh, so, I just, I, that woman is 25. Is she really 25 years old? That's fucking sadness. Dude's going to live till he's about 40, maybe 45. Um, She's if she's 25 and looks and, and is that big, unless she fucking seriously course corrects 35, you know, she's gonna be bedridden by the time she's fucking 35 at the very fucking least. So <clears throat> if you if these two really loved each other, they'd they'd get healthy together. If you were if, if two very fucking fat people find each other and they really love each other for who they are, they'll want to spend as much time as together as possible. That's, that's fucking reality. You know, this is not love. This is not love. This is, uh, th th this is mutual self-hatred. That's, uh, uh, that's, that's what it is. That's, that's what it is. Be silly. Don't be afraid to dance to your own beat. You're, but this thing is, you're not though. <clears throat> this dude has like fucking all the fucking banners, all the fucking shit in his fucking bio, uh, all the little fucking hashtags, bo po, this blah 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 blah. You're not dancing to your own to your own beat. You're dancing to the fucking like consensus of your fucking tribe. You know, like uh, a lot of people do, like people do it in a lot of shit. It takes like you're not a free fucking thinker. You are riding the body positivity fucking wave of how you're just fucking perfectly fine. You're not dancing your own fucking beat at all. And you're not doing much dancing. You're just fucking kind of shaking side to side because if you actually danced, your fucking knees would explode. To say if you put this sound over a video, your partner will make uh, make your heart melt. Is she? She's on fucking oxygen. She is 25 years old and on fucking oxygen... You don't love her, dude. You do not love her. And she doesn't love you. She's not, like, she, she's not in it for a long time with you. Like, she's not in it for fucking, just, this is fucking, this, this is who's, like, this is who society looks to. This is fucking sadness. This is patheticness. Dude, you are not a man. And I don't care, and I'm not saying that because you're LGBTQ or whatever the fuck. I don't even think the TQ should be on LGB. I think LGB and TQI54321 plus minus hashtag, um, I think that should be separated. Uh, but uh, it's not because you're LGB. You're just not a fucking man. I mean, you're fucking, you're pathetic. Dude, fucking, that woman that you supposedly love and can't live without is literally 25 years old on fucking oxygen and gluttonous, gluttonous. You fucking suck, dude. You're pathetic. You, men have no excuse. Fat men have no excuse. And you should lead and you should be doing the best you can to help her get healthy. If she needs to, we have it all the time because a huge portion of our clientele is women. Um, we have it all the time where the fucking significant other or, you know, the, the husband or wife of, of, the, of the female client brings home pizza all the fucking time or, or tempts them with cookies and shit like that. That's not love. That is fucking sabotage. That is fucking, that is them not wanting to see you succeed in living longer. That's fucking pathetic. Pathetic. This, whoop, this, that's fucking pathetic. 
just fucking sadness right there. I feel bad for her. I feel bad for him. Most of all, I fucking, I fucking kind of look at them and shake my head because I'm kind of ashamed that they're, that, that they don't see it. You know, dude, you're fucking, the person you say you couldn't imagine your life without is on oxygen. Start imagining, start imagining right fucking now. Like that shit's not, that shit's not going to clear up. You know, that, that's, that's not, that, that's, that's not, not going to like all of a sudden like poof, she doesn't need oxygen to move the fatter she fucking gets. It's fucking, dude, it's fucking, you're a pathetic human, you're a pathetic excuse for a fucking male. This is his art. This is the fucking video I fucking posted. I love, I, I, I love it when fucking, uh, when people that can barely fucking physically function at, try to act all badass. Fucking hilarious. Fucking sadness. No shit. This is his art. Good for you, dude. Um, before this woman came in life, <laughs> before this woman came in life, I was miserable. I had low self-esteem, terrible self-image and self-worth. When I met, whatever her name is, my life changed for the better. I love her with all my heart and soul. Who is your yellow? Dude, if you loved her with all your heart and soul, you would fucking not be a fat, gluttonous slob of a human being. Uh, and you yourself would be encouraging her to also not be one. Uh, I'm just going to be real. You don't actually love her. You, you guys have found uh, a, mu a mutual ground of self, uh, self-degradation. Like, uh, you have, a, you have put yourself into a circle of, uh, a societal circle that makes you feel better about yourself, um, and that you can indulge in your very unhealthy fucking behaviors in. That's it. You are still miserable. You know it. You know the fucking freight train of fucking ill health is coming for both of you. Both of you. You know? Fucking sadness, dude. This woman... Advocating for people of all sizes and abilities. And my answer is yes. If you think that you're going to need that, then I would. Many, many people ask me if I think they need to book two seats. And my answer is yes. If you think that you're going to need that, then I would go ahead and suggest you do, if at all possible. Booking two seats will just ensure that you feel comfortable and that everyone around you feels comfortable and that you can have some peace of mind while flying. Many, that's many awesome. I'm gonna say, that's fucking awesome. Good for her. Um, good for her. Happy five years. They've been together for five years. So they've gotten fat together. They've gotten fatter together. If you scroll back, I wonder if you can tell. Dude, she's fucking. This woman isn't this woman is in very serious fucking physical jeopardy. Very fucking serious. Already on oxygen that big. A fucking cold is going to fucking take this woman out. A common cold. Fucking have some pride in yourself. The fuck? It's hard to tell if she's gotten bigger or not. She's been big a long fucking time. And she probably makes a lot of content too because this is all she's fucking got. She's been big a long fucking time. <clears throat> fucking patheticness. I mean, uh, not just her, but dude especially. Like for real, like if you're a, if you're a, if you're a 500 pounds dude, what the fuck are you doing? You have no excuse. Hormonally, you should be fucking killing it. Get your hormones checked. If you're a 500 pound dude, your estrogen levels are fucking through the fucking roof. Fat is estrogenic, people. I mean, it's fucking, it's fucking crazy. It's just fucking insane. You know? Uh, they looked skinny before. They did. They, 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 they've gained weight together. Fat people that aren't accepting of the fact that they are, that they need to lose weight, gain weight together. It's, it's even, uh, it's even worse because they fucking... Uh, play off each other. It's very fucking sad. Very, very fucking sad. I, shit. 
people that don't respect your boundaries don't respect your boundaries. I don't even know what you're talking about. Dark story. I just got uh, just got a restraining. Uh, I just got a restraining order. I remember when we were still friends. The guy uh, gooding me to just have some pizza, goading you to just have some pizza when I was on a diet. People that don't respect your boundaries don't respect your boundaries. Well, I'm. I hope you're safe uh, and please take care. Make, you know, that's one of the reasons why you have the Second Amendment. By the way. Um, I don't understand how someone could just uh, accept living like that. She's, I mean, you're on oxygen and fucking 500 pounds or 400 pounds, whatever the fuck she weighs. She weighs four to 500 pounds for real. So, uh, I mean, that's fucking sadness. Like, uh, and any, anybody that's not encouraging her, anybody that is not in, like this, I say this all the time. <clears throat> I know that I get painted as some sort of villain, some sort of evil, mean person that fucking tells people that they're fat and they should lose fucking weight. The thing is, you're fat. You should lose weight. That's me being kind to you. I mean, I, I really believe that. And I really mean that. Me telling people to lose weight is me being kind to them. It absolutely is. Uh, I don't even understand how people don't think that way. Uh, it, to me, it is just like society has reached a stage where they fucking want to make sure that people fucking uh, just feel good about themselves no matter what. They, they're like this open societal lie. Fuck that shit. I'm not down for that. I, I refuse to lie to people's faces. I absolutely fucking refuse to. So, uh, one more time before I'm going to open up to some questions, but uh, uh, you can get no morbidity on August 9th. Again, we'll be doing lives and all sorts of shit. I'm going to be putting out an email or to anybody that's ever fucking got an email from me here shortly. But also, uh, I'll be doing lives, talking about the ingredients again, everything like that. We are working on product two. Very fucking excited. Mark talked about it yesterday on our live. Probably about 12 weeks away from having some help for uh, blood sugar regulation. Because what no morbidity does is it actually just works on the biological mechanism of hunger for your stomach. Your hunger just doesn't, your stomach just doesn't produce as much ghrelin. There is a product called Thinogen in it, uh, an ingredient called Thinogen that actually helps with the decoupling of protein 1 NAs from stomach, uh, stomach fat, basically. Um, it's not spot reducing, spot reducing belly fat, but it does actually fucking, uh, go more towards visceral fat. Um, and it's massive appetite supp suppression helps with your mood, helps with sleep, those sorts of things. Um, but product two will work on sugar cravings, help people to recover from sugar addiction, uh, work on, uh, uh, uh insulin sensitivity, uh, for PCOS and for just ever, for re regular people, it'll help with, uh, affecting a glycemic response in food where it's not going to be as severe for a lot of people. So we're looking very forward to that between the two it kind of erases your hunger like to, a, to a certain degree. Um, and that's what a lot of people need to help them build healthier habits to then get to and stay at a healthier weight, have those habits solidify and then uh, not need the products anymore. Hopefully, you know what I mean? Like that's the fucking thing. Like I'm probably going to use them forever. One, they're my products. Uh, but two, <clears throat> it's just very nice for me not to have to fucking, constantly between the products and how I eat, I don't, I'm not constantly worried about binging. It's like giving me life back a little bit, like freedom, you know? Uh, so between the two products, cause I'm testing the, I'm testing the second one out and, uh, and the method that crystal has me eating in protein forward. I only have processed carbohydrates on rare occasions and I treat them as treats cause that's what they are. Treats. Um, I got, I kind of got a, a full life back. You know, I mean, it's fucking nice. So uh, anyway, uh, do check those things out. You can also buy the book, Fuck Being Fat. You get a month of the app, live pre-recorded classes. Krista was teaching new Tabata class tonight. So if you were going to join the app, tonight would be a perfect time. You can join the app, sign up for the Tabata class tonight. I'm taking almost all the classes with her now. Uh, she's guiding me through because I'm considering those my second workout of the day um, just to get a little bit of extra activity in. Um, and, or if you know that you just need help, like, you know what to do, uh, uh, what second product that we'll be releasing a name shortly, but we have product number two in the no morbidity line under the Ambrosia collective coming out in about 12 weeks. Uh, very fucking excited. Um, uh, but, uh, and we should be, uh, we'll, we'll do the full launch, everything like that. We'll be talking about that, but we're very fucking excited. Uh, but if you know, you just need help, like, you know what to do, but you just need accountability help. 
There is a link in there for three months worth of coaching where we talk to people on a daily basis with weekly video conference calls, weekly video conference calls to make adjustments. Uh, we help a person with the, people with uh, recipe suggestions, a caloric range that they should try to stay in. They can even track their calories on our app, uh, all sorts of things. So please do uh, check that out. Anyway, I'm going to go scroll back up. Southwest Airline will actually reimburse for an extra seat that they need to buy. That's fucking good for Southwest. Great. Uh, I guess I'd rather they do that than before sit uh, like I had to before. I fucking agree. Uh, they think that just because they dance to some music, they're not dancing. They're just moving side to side. It really is. That's really what they're doing. Conceal and carry is your right. I believe so for everybody. Every fucking every. Every United, every free United States citizen, anybody not in jail, should be able to own whatever the fuck they want to own and carry it wherever the fuck they want to carry it. It's in our fucking constitution. I heard what you said yesterday, but I don't agree completely. Like I have a minimal, I have minimal fat uh, in my stomach for a size. No, dude, you're fat as fuck. I'm looking at your picture. You're 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 fat. You are fat. It is not nearly all muscle. You you are fat. Accept it. Okay. Um, sorry that, that obviously fucking hurt you somewhere because you know it's true but you're fat dude fucking accept it i mean you you are convincing yourself to being 290 pounds if if you're even a fucking real person by the way you can easily be a troll i'm not fucking stupid but if you're 290 pounds you're fat if you're a 290 pound male you are fat if you are not fat you have taken so many performance enhancing drugs that you are in fucking unless you're extremely extraordinarily tall like lebron james tall You've taken so many drugs and it's unhealthy anyway. But you're fat. I'm looking at you. I'm looking. I'm looking at your profile picture. You're viscerally fat. You're viscerally obese, and your body fat level obese. You're fat, dude. Accept it. What the fuck? You you whining about it does not make it less true. Um, it just fucking doesn't. Uh, have you heard the UK government is tackling obesity by making shops uh, re re uh, re merchandise? I have not heard that. I have not. Uh, did I miss something? What's the second product? The second product is going to work for uh, uh, insulin sensitivity. It's going to work for blood sugar regulation. It's going to work for uh, uh, glycemic response, inflammation. I mean, it's we're, we're, we're coming up with products to help people be healthy. <clears throat> is there caffeine and no morbidity? No morbidity is a non-stimulant, non-thermogenic based. It literally just works on the biological mechanism of hunger from your stomach. It also helps with your mood, um, and it does help with uh, going, your body going to glyconeogenesis. Alan, correct me if I'm wrong, but you mentioned before that you take an appetite suppressant supplements. I get a bit hungry at night since I am in a chloric, a, a, on a caloric deficit. Yes, it's called no morbidity, and it will be out for sale again on August 9th. No, there's no stimulants in it at all. It's fucking amazing. So it's, it, I'm telling you, uh, I know it sounds like I'm bragging and I'm clearly biased, but it is the fucking most effective weight loss supplement there is. It is the creatine of weight loss. It is effective. It does exactly what it says it's going to fucking do. It, 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 it's amazing. <clears throat> uh, it's funny how fast uh, one can go from doing nothing at all to being able to sit down for a long time, having have to move, Crazy the human body does. No shit. It is. Uh, when is no morbidity getting restocked? August 9th, this coming Tuesday. And it will be fucking, uh, it will be, um, uh, it will be, it will be fucking uh, probably sold out in about 24 to 48 hours. 48 hours at the most. We got a lot more this time. We got a lot more no morbidity this time. But the demand, the what we're seeing in a demand is going to be very fucking high. So it's going to sell out quickly again. Not as not the fucking six hours to eight hours it fucking sold out in the first time, uh, hopefully for people, but it's going to sell out again. So, <clears throat> uh, all appropriate actions are being taken for safety and thank you. Good, good, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, yeah, that's fat. It's, it's, it's fat. He, I mean, dude, dude's fucking, I don't, it, it could be a troll anyway. Because he probably has the same mindset as me, 450 wearing a 3XL. Uh, I'm healthy because this, blah, blah, blah. So, and uh, to compare me with the regular fat guy in America is very off. You're still a fat dude. I didn't say you're the regular fat guy. I said you're a fucking fat dude. You're fat, dude. You're obese. 
You are unhealthily obese. 290 pounds, you're unhealthily obese. That's what I said. So you trying to change what I said doesn't change what I said. You just, I mean, if, if, if you are a real person and you claim to be 290 pounds, you're fat as fuck. I'm looking at you. If that's you in your picture, you're fat. You're, you're, you're viscerally fat. You, you, I mean, you are the worst kind of fat. <clears throat> and frankly, you don't even look like you're built like a strong man. So just be real. So I know that might hurt you, but, uh, but uh, I miss it every time uh, going to set my alarm. Uh, a monthly subscription would be cool. I do believe we're going to have a monthly subscription probably starting in uh, the September run. So anyway, guys, it has been over an hour. I will be back 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about, but it will probably be one of the fat acceptance influencers or something like that. I don't know. Um, or we could just do open q and I am not sure. I'm going to figure it out later on today, and I'll try, try to post it up. But I hope everybody <clears> – <throat> oh, here we go. It's very few who can bench 455. That's why I'm not looking at myself as obese in that way. Dude, you're fucking fat as fuck. You can't even bench press twice your body weight. You Stop bragging about weight when you can't bench press twice your body weight as a fucking strong man. How strong is that really? You know? Dude, fucking... Uh, you, like, I, I get what you're saying. You think you're super strong, and that does that changes the fact I was super strong and fat as fuck myself. I've been there. You're in denial. You're fat as fuck. You are a fat fuck. You are fatter than fucker. Accept it. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. Goddamn. <clears throat>